This is my office. It takes a special person to do this. You know, all my racing's done on the trails. Diane Van Duren is a professional endurance athlete for the North Face Company. Right now I'm in the process of training for a 50 mile race in Rio de Janeiro. And that's a short race by her standards. I tend to do best in 100 mile races or more. Diane really picked up long distance running 14 years ago when she was diagnosed with epilepsy. Well, here I was, a pro athlete, never drank, never did a drug, never, I mean, treat my body like a temple and all of a sudden these seizures started taking over my life. And I found for some reason that when I ran, it debated the, the onset of the seizure. So for me, really, I got into ultra running from the fear of running from the seizure. After surgery to remove the damaged tissue from her brain, the seizures stopped, but her running continues. And now she hopes to inspire others to reach their own goals. A few months ago, she had a chance to meet Denver police officer John Adson and encourage him on his journey to recover from being run over by a car. You know, I remember talking to him, my heart was just beating and I was trying to hold back the tears and just understanding some of that vulnerability. It turns out they go to the same church, Foundry Church in Castle Pines. Diane is helping them to organize their 5K Rise and Run fundraiser for Adson. He told us community support has been a big part of his recovery. It's overwhelming and it's it's so humbling to know that people truly care about their first responders the way that they, they do. And I've, at this point, um, gotten to witness it firsthand. I just encourage everybody to come out and just surround him with love and his family. And um, that, that's going to just make his healing faster and better. And this comes from someone who knows. Diane has overcome a lot in life and knows Officer Adsit will do the same. He's gonna overcome and um, come out a stronger man. Deborah Takahara, Fox 31 Denver.